right, let's take a look at crude oil. All right, here's the basic method for the trend boxes. We know that the trend boxes, they turn red and green. Red being a bias short, green being a bias long. But there's something more important to the trend boxes than just that. It's the actual, since I have trend filters built into, long-term trend filters built into these trend boxes, I can trade off shorter time frames with smaller stops. So this is a 3 sim Rinko. This is on gasoline. 3 sim Rinko with a 9 trend box. What we want to see is we want to see consolidation, then speed. All right, so let's make this simple. Consolidation, then speed. That is the most important aspect of the trend box. What is consolidation? Consolidation is comprised of the candle, four or more candles that close inside of a closed trend box. So consolidation or chop. So we see consolidation before speed. All right? Because what happens is if the market's going sideways by more than four candles, it's setting us up for a possible move in the market to get to get short once speed comes in the market. Because as traders, we need volatility. Without volatility, we can't get our first, second, third, fourth, etc. targets. If we try to trade in this chop market like up here, we're just going to get stopped out because the market's what's it called oscillating. So you cannot trade oscillating markets, not unless you use market profile by itself, you can, if it's a flat day. But other than that, you cannot buy and sell retracements in an oscillating market or you're going to get your butt kicked. The market's going to keep stopping you out. So what we have to do is we have to go from consolidation into speed and then look for a retracement. So we want to see consolidation before speed. Then what we want to see is we want to see speed. Now what speed is comprised of is comprised of four candles or less that close inside of a trend box. So we got the market rolling down on this nice trade right now. The best possible setup that you can have on a trend box with speed with, with a speed box is one candle closed inside of a closed trend box. So look at this one candle that closes. Now Earl, Earl, are you in here? Let's see if Earl is one of our top traders, long-term traders in the room. I don't know if Earl's logged in. He got 100 ticks yesterday from using the speed bars. And he got 75 ticks a day before for using speed bars. Two speed bars or less he's been using on a two or one speed bar. He's got almost 200 ticks just in the last couple days. Just on using these speed bars like this technique. All right. So the method works. And now don't take my word for it. Don't take Gerald's. You got the back testing software. You got members that's cranking out the ticks with live monies as we speak. So when I tell you that one candle is your best bar, it's not just me it's traders that's using the software so one candle is the best candle you're going to get for speed okay the next best is going to be two candle close so you can see what happened we went from consolidation into a one candle close that tells the market is trying to get speed now now it's trying to break out of an oscillating market or consolidation consolidating market into a vertical market so we want to trade vertical markets now so right when that closes one candle close, we see a two candle close, we see a two candle close. We want to try to get in on retracements. Try to get in a retracement trade. You got two shots at it right here. You got a retracement here at 90% and you got a retracement here. This is a real clear one, the next one. You're above 90%. Once we get a candle, I put an arrow there, a candle that closes red because the trend filters built into them or a negative market delta over here. That's to go short the market. Your stop loss is two ticks above the swing high. That is a short right there. All right? So look what happened. We had consolidation before speed, right? Then here we had speed, right? So now we got speed. We got consolidation. Then we got speed in the market telling us we get involved on the retracement. That's how it always works here on all time frames. There's your speed. So here's your first thing you look for. Put that as one. Consolidation before speed. Then you get speed. One. 
Here's two. We have speed now in the market. Now we got speed. Now we know the market's moving. We're not an oscillating and chop market. Now what do we want to do? Now we want to look for a retracement. And then we have three. It's always a one, two, three check down with me. There's your check down. And of course, you want to go with trend, guys. Corrective ways work too, but market profile helps that out. But that's another discussion. But there's three. This is your basic for trend boxes. And then we have the retracement. Retracement entry. That's number three. So now we got the setup here. We got the consolidation to tell us that we're in an oscillating market. We got a consolidation of more than four candles that close inside of a closed, keyword is closed trend box. Then we have one candle. It's got to be four candles or less if there's speed in the market. If they're trying to mark, if, they, if these, think about this. This is not me and you pushing the market around, guys and gals. This is electronically trade. These are electronically traded markets. These are algorithms, high frequency trading algorithms that's pushing this market up and down. Your Goldman Sachs of the world that have their Delta programs and all their other programs out there. I don't know if they have Delta around still, but they have high-frequency algorithms pushing these markets. They're leaving their footprint for us to visualize and to take advantage of riding behind their coattails. That's what they're doing. So you don't think about this stuff. You visualize what's going on internally with the market. So internally with the market is you're seeing what? You're seeing this. You're seeing a consolidation into speed. There's your retracement entry. Here's your second chance at it. Here's a one candle bar. One candle close. I'm sorry. There's your one candle. There's your retracement. And there's your next leg down. I like the consolidation. See how we never had, we had a one candle here, then the retracement, and then it had the big hit. I like to see the consolidation before speed myself in the infancy of the move. It's a great way to do it. All right, so that's what we're trying to do. Now, this works on all time frames. So you can go, if you want to go to a 9 Simrico and we want to go a larger time frame, then what you want to change is you want to change your trend box to 25. And now all of a sudden we can do this off a larger time frame. Now what we're trying to do is we're trying to trade setups with larger time frames. Instead of, uh, instead of a 3 sim with a 9 trend box, we're going to go with a 9 sim Rico with a 25 trend box. And what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to look for speed to come in the market, right? But it's the same exact thing. We're looking for big consolidation. And then we, so this is a consolidation sequence. This is the speed sequence, and this is the retracement down here that's trying to do right now sequence. So there's your one consolidation. This is your speed bar right here, number two, on a larger time frame. And then your retracement, it's retracing right now for a possible setup on a larger time frame. So the method doesn't change on the time frame. The method is still the same. It's just a time frame changes. You still look for big consolidation boxes, and then you look for speed, less than four candles. Here's a one candle showing it should take a big hit. Look at after one candle prints, the speed it picks up. Now, what I like to do is this. I like to look for this to show speed here, right? But then enter off of a three here. Does that make sense? I like to see the larger time frame showing speed candles, but then wait for my three sim to confirm speed with the retracement. Why? Why is that a good idea to do that? Anybody? Why use a longer time frame to pick up speed and enter off a shorter time frame? What's it going to allow me to do? Smaller stops. Yep. Because if you trade off of a 9 Simrenko, you're going to get around a 22 tick stop on average. 
If you trade off a three sim ratio, you're going to 11 tick stop average. It cuts in half. Literally, it cuts in half. Sometimes I'm at 10 ticks. So that's a key point. If you can literally, if you really want to do well with the system, is you can literally cut out the five sim ratio completely if you wanted to and trade the nine and three if you're just looking for trend box trades. The reason I use the five, let me tell you why I use the five sim ratio. I use the five sim ratio because of this symmetry dot retracements with trend boxes. That's my favorite way to use the five sim. My favorite way to use the three sim and nine sim are speed bars. My five sim doesn't show a lot of speed bars. I'm not, I'm not worried about the speed bars on the five sim. My favorite way to use a five sim if I'm butting up against symmetry and downtrends or uptrends. Because that tells me if the three sim then, if I'm buttoning up against symmetry and my three sim gets a nice retracement cell, right, like up here, I'm at a retracement cell my three sim right at this swing high at symmetry at 813 right there, then that's a sell. I love using the symmetry dots off the five sim. But if you could, if you want to just use a three and nine on a lot of markets, you typically can get the trend with the nine and the trend box with the three on a, pretty much any market that I've seen because they work together really well. All right, so that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to go from consolidation. It doesn't matter what time frames. You can go down to a five if you want to. It's still the same methodology. If I'm trading a five sim, let's go over this on the three parameters that I'd like to see, and Jerry, I'll shut this off in a second. So if I'm trading off a five sim ratio, let's go over the three major points I'm talking about. There's my consolidation before speed right here, right? Two big long boxes. Number two right here above this trend box. There's my speed, speed bar. Where's my retracement? Number three, my retracement's right at this high, and it catches the big short right there, right the high. Three. There's your retracement. It doesn't matter what time frame it is. It's still the same methodology. Consolidation. Look at the big consolidation boxes. Look at that. You had one, two, three, four, five consolidation boxes that you stay out of the market. Why? This is where novice traders get stopped out because it's oscillating. It's going to ping pong back and forth. Ping pong. Stop out at the high. Stop out at the low. Market has no direction. Zero direction. Not going anywhere. Zero direction. Stay away. Stand aside. Stand aside. Stand aside. Right? Ping pong. Back and forth. Getting stopped out. Novice traders keep getting stopped out. Think it's a bottom. Think it's a top. Think it's a top. Then all of a sudden, boom, speed bar. Speed comes in. This is the smallest width bar since what? It happened at 8.15, and it was consolidating since 5 o'clock this morning. So for four hours, it went sideways to stand aside. And then all of a sudden, speed comes in. Now you're going from consolidation into speed. Look at the market start taking a vertical hit. Now we're going vertical. What happens, the market can't go straight down or straight up. It's an orderly market. Since we have orderly markets, it leaves its footprint. We're trying to get the first retracement for the continuation. And that is how you trade the system. Consolidation, speed, retracement. And that's all she wrote. That's all you do. Okay? Very, very easy way to look at it.